a Terry 450C, 4.5 meters long. It's got a width of 1.85. It's got weight of 295 kg. 20 to 40 horsepower max. Top speed 25 knots with the 30 horsepower. It's approval uh, category rating C and D for two people. Um, Self-draining, unsinkable construction, whole ABS plastic. Um, it's got an al uh, aluminium reinforced transom, side console and stable and balanced. Next boat is the Spectrum. And the Spectrum is 15 foot, 6 inches, just slightly over 440 kg, a lot heavier. Um, maximum horsepower 60, um, 29 miles per hour at 5,500 RPM with a 60. Um, so it's, it's got um, it's a heavier boat, it's got a pilot house, um, so you can get out of the way in the, in the wind. You might find the boat for sea angling will catch the wind a bit. Um, you can walk around the side to, um, to do your anchoring, looks pretty safe. Uh, grab rails on top as well. It looks like there's a hatch you might be able to squeeze through and do that if it's quite lively sort of things. Um, but this is a bit of a heavier boat. See in this picture here you can see it's got you can just look at 15 horsepower just for cruising around. You can buy one without the canopy as well um, so it won't catch the wind so much. Um, but yeah, you can see there's plenty of space on it. And, um, like I say, relatively expensive. I think you can pick one up for sort of second hand one for about 12 grand, 12, 13 grand, something like that. Uh, depends what outboard options you're using, and um, you can lock up your, um, your cabin there. You might just want to check, they say you can sleep inside there, but you might want to check that, that you can lay out properly in, 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 in front of that. Um, okay. So the next boat we have is Sea Trooper, um, made by Sea Hog, and it's 4.6 meters long, um, so 15.3, 1.98 beams, so it's quite beamy. Um, it's weight 500 kg, so it's, it's, it's quite a heavy boat. It's a, um, what do they call it, like a cathedral hull. So you might find it slams quite a lot in sort of choppy seas. That's why it's a bit heavier. Um, up to 70 horsepower, so it's, it's quite a fast boat um, for a 15 footer and it's got 31 freeboard and it's uh, certified for six people seating um, so it's quite a heavy one that is um, but it's quite a short boat as well but um, yeah so it, you, you know it's be quite a stable platform to fish off this boat here is a warrior 15 they don't actually make them anymore um, but you can probably pick them up for a good second hand one for about five or six grand um, and yeah, they make the 16.5, I think now, but this is one they used to do, and um, um, very well, um, good boat manufacturer, good build quality. Um, yeah, like you say, pick them up second hand, um, you know, depending on what sort of state the trailer's in and the engine's in and stuff like that, but yeah, they're a good, good, solid, uh, good solid safe boat. Um, fit in your garage, fit on your driveway. So next we have the Albany 452, and I would say this is the creme de la creme of the lot. It's the most expensive. It's compact, it's light, and tow behind a family car, on an unbraked trailer. Its length is 1410, 452, and its beam is 1.83, and it's a weight of 365 kg. Nelson influenced hull, um, sharp V, forward section, soft ride, stability underway at rest, so it's easy to launch. It's tough seaworthy, self-draining. Um, 26 inch, inches of freeboard, 23 knots performance. Um, so there's brake and unbrake trailer options. But yeah, creme de la creme, that one there. Uh, next, we have the Pilot 4, Westport Pilot 4. Now, I think this is probably the most um, best value. It's a, it's a, um, four meters long, 1.82 is being, it's 290 kg. Category C for five people, but you can get 50 horsepower on it. Um, 30 knots performance on long shafts, so that's a really good one. Then, Orkney Coastliner 14 is a length 14.4, 4.37 meters. It's a beam of 1.73 meters, weight 200 kg, so it's very light. But it's um, a Gurney garage, safe, easy to launch, economical, tough, rigid construction, and that'll play in with a 15 horsepower. Um, so that's um, it's actually quite expensive to buy brand new, but a second hand one get quite cheap. And if you just want a little boat just to pot around in the bay, that would be ideal. 
Um, there's some um, second-hand options here in this diagram, for example. It's probably quite an old boat, but it's so, so well made that, you know, just want it easy to launch on your own as well, and won't break the bank either. Um, I'd recommend four-stroke four engine options, up to sort of 15 horsepower, would probably be right. 20 horsepower would be a bit of a flying machine, economical. Um, so yeah, that would that would be um, my choice if you just wanted a, a boat just to sort of pot around on. Um, disadvantages with a boat like that, I mean, they are relatively small. You, you know, you, you don't want to be going out in two choppy scenes. Um, but like you say, if you just sort of, you know, if you go out on good days, you probably feel quite safe in it. But um, spare option, spare engines is always a good, good option. But if you've got a sort of a solid sort of four stroke, um, this is a C Strike 14. Um, they do options. They do do a 16 footer, but the 14 footer weighs 140 kg, and the 16 footer weighs 220 kg. So it's very light, so. You don't need maximum horsepower on the 14 foot is 20 horsepower and it'd be quite fast. Um, I would on this particular build the aluminium for me seems a little bit on the thin scale, but if you just want a boat just to pot around in the harbour or the estuaries or the rivers or do a bit of pipe fishing, this is that and the other, it's not a hole which is gonna break the bank. Um, and it's um, it's it's um, it's category C for inshore. And buoyancy in the seats, and um, yeah, so it's a semi-B hull, robust planing hull. Um, it's got chines on it as well to stop water spray getting sprayed and stuff. And there's different options for canopies and things. Now this is the Endeavour Sea Jeep. Now this used to be built by Sea Hog, um, but this is now um, it's got the pattern with somebody else now who does it. Um, they're quite expensive for what they are, however, quite a solid sort of boat. Um, you can pick up a, a second-hand one. Um, for probably sort of, I don't know, five or six grand, something like that. Um, but yeah, they're um, they're generally sort of pretty sort of solid sort of boat. Um, I would suggest with, um, with that particular boat, if I can just find them. Yeah, so length is 4.95, beam of 1.85. Uh, freeboard eight tenths, so weight of 350, so the weight of it's 350. Category C, 40 horsepower max, four people. So there you go. This is the Sea Hunter. Um, this used to be built by Sea Hog as well, but somebody else is sort of doing it now. Um, so it's 4.5 meters long, it's obviously fiberglass, and it's a beam of 1.85, 350 kg, and 25 horsepower, four stroke would be lovely with that. Um, so you can see all these boats, they're all, they're all very similar really. Um, yeah, it's really where the boat manufacturer, if you buy new, where, where it's closest to you really, I would say, there's not really a lot in it. They're all going to be able to do the same sort of thing. Um, you know, you want reliability with a four-stroke engine for me. Um, you want to buy a second-hand one with a crapped-out trailer and a, a buggered-up two-stroke engine. You know, your slicers, you've got to weigh up the option whether it's, it's, it's just easiest to buy new or not. Anyway, this is a C Swift 435. I think the guys who build this boat don't do it anymore, I'm not sure. Um, I did try to find them, but I can't I can't find find them anywhere. It's it's like a sea hole trio boat. Um, 30 to 40 horsepower. It's um, 4.4 metres long and it's um, a beam of 1.75. I couldn't find the weight of it anyway, but it's like a sea log trio, um, sea swift. You can pick them up second hand. One like this is as, as really is as good as any of the others. It's got a nice engine there, four stroke, um, similar sort of weight. You've just got something quite fast, which will pot around in the bay. Um, something like that would do. Um, so here we go. This is my in order. This is my top ten. Um, but I'll go for Orkney 452 if you've got the money because of the build quality. Um, the Westport Pilot 4 for me uh, on a, uh, would be a cheapest option to have a really fast one. Seahawk Sea Trooper is, uh, I'd go on based on build quality and weight and speed. Orkney Coastliner 14, um, um, just good value. 
Endeavour Sea Jeep, um, getting a bit more expensive but fast. Sea Hunter 450, okay. Spectrum 480, not really for me, I wouldn't suggest. Terry 450C is a um, good centre console boat. Warrior 15, a good bargain buy. And the Sea Strike 14, okay, if you just want to pop around just in lakes and um, estuaries and things like that. But yeah, that's, um, that's the video, and I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that makes your selections a little bit easier. All right, see you guys. Cheers.